stay out of the wind. It's I think a high of only <clears throat> 16 degrees Celsius today with the wind. It feels like 10. So I'm just trying to stay out of the wind. I am at the Museum of History in Gatineau here. <clears throat> I've been here before. Shot here. I get great views of uh, Ottawa from this spot, and that's why I uh, came here. I was here, I think, two weeks ago, shooting with my iPhone. I didn't have uh, the Sony FDR AX 700B yet. I just got this, I think, last week, and I've been playing around with it. It's an awesome, awesome uh, prosumer video camcorder. I'm going to be using the uh, Sony FTR AX 700B to shoot um, all of my videos for Pod5, Adobe Stock, and my own website uh, to sell for photos. I'll be using this little guy. This is, the, of course, I'm going to get a fucking phone call right now. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Where are you? I'm still in Hull doing photography. Yeah, at the museum? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going home. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Okay. I should be home for six. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Fine. Okay. sell on Pond5 and for photos I'm going to be using this uh, Sony um, uh, fuck, why the heck do I forget the name now it's the Sony RX100 Mark 7 I've had this camera before this is the second time that I own this camera I had it last year or the year before and then yeah I had the year before then I traded it in for a Sony a7 or mark II, which shot 42.3 megapixels and that camera for me was just overkill it was big bulky I had the 24 to 240 lens on it it was a fantastic camera but I want to be more mobile so that's why I got the Sony RX100 Mark 7, which is an awesome camera. It's got a 24-200 and does pretty much everything that I need. I'm going to be shooting a lot more landscape stuff, so I don't need the reach as much. And if I do, I've got two feet, two legs, so I can just, you know, move closer to the scene. So I'm just going to go up a few flights of stairs here. I'm on the second level. There's a third level here on the museum that I can pan around Ottawa. So I'm just going to take a few clips and uh, put everything together on my new uh, 2021 iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I got the one with the one terabyte and oh, 16 gigs of RAM. I can't wait until June 7th when Apple talks about um, what they're going to do with iOS 15, iPad OS 15. <coughs> so they're brand new software and brand new hardware. So that's coming up in a few weeks. I'm kind of hoping that uh, Apple uh, upgrade updates the um, 
iPadOS so that uh, it can actually uh, you know use the M1 chip and the 16 gigs of RAM the, can the thing is absolutely fast I find that it does uh, overheat a little bit um, it does get hot I haven't noticed uh, any speed ramp or ramping down of the processor I've just been doing you know the basic um, surfing the web watching YouTube um, stuff like that I really haven't edited any photo or videos on the iPad yet that's this going to be my first test of this video so I'm kind of hoping that you know it, it's faster that's one reason why I bought it so now I'm just going to shut down the camera for a bit and uh, go up a flight of stairs to the next level and I'll show you guys Ottawa from the Gatineau Quebec side all right see you up there so yeah it took me about 10 seconds to walk up a flight of stairs to the next level uh, this is a one part one building of the Museum of uh, Canadian history and you get really really nice views of Ottawa uh, nice days like today. It's sunny, a few clouds in the sky, and there's hardly anybody here. There's four people to my left on the bottom floor on the second level. Yeah, but this place is typically full of tourists. And I don't know who this is. So I'm gonna answer it. Spam phone calls for duck cleaning services. I told these guys to not call me. I don't have ducks on my apartment. I live on the ninth floor. I thought I blocked their asses, but I guess not. So I'm just gonna show you clips of a little bit of Ottawa from the Quebec side, from the Gatineau side. And uh, I'm gonna do about one minute clips. Once I cut those down to a few seconds each, I'll show you. switching from northwest to northeast and it just gets cold if there was no wind it'd be so much nicer but anyway this place is typically full of tourists from Toronto or Montreal especially Toronto you get a lot of Asians coming up from Toronto here like you'd have seven eight buses full of tourists Typically there would be no room up here. I guess that's one of the good things about this uh, Rona bullshit that we actually, the citizens, uh, the residents of Ottawa and Gatineau actually get their city back so that they can kind of enjoy it. pictures and not be bothered. I am so pleased and happy to have the Sony AF R3 FTR AX 700B. I keep wanting to say AF 100 because I've had the AF 100 or sorry AX 100 uh, camcorder which is the predecessor to this AX 700B. And like I said I've had this little thing before too bad you know i upgraded or i 
thought I did to the Sony um, A7R Mark II. Um, it was a used camera, but it'll be loved by somebody else, I'm sure. Like, it was a good camera, but for me, I'd rather, you know, stick this little guy into my pocket, walk around. I could take it to a Sens game. I did the last game that we actually went to, and uh, nobody bothered me at all. Um, my goal is to still move to Alberta, Calgary specifically in September. I don't know if my girlfriend's gonna come with me. Um, we're having issues now. photos in my videos I'm um, actually down to just doing Adobe stock and Pond 5 I sometimes upload uh, photos to uh, deposit photo and dreams times but sales there are once in a blue moon I stopped uploading to um, shutter stock because I'm not gonna I you know sell my photography for 10 cents a pop and videos for 24 cents it just literally makes only sense to not upload only four cents for when I have to you know spend 1800 or say $1,700 on a pocket camera $2,400 on the video camera. The return on investment from Shutterstock is non-existent. I think in the last, well, since January 1st, <coughs> I've sold three videos for less than $8. Um, I haven't made $80 at all this year from Shutterstock. On five, I think I've sold six videos this year for $281 change, which is much better. So I'm gonna keep going for that. Uh, Adobe stock is picking up. My portfolio isn't as big on Adobe stock as it is on Shutterstock, so that's why I'm the only gonna upload to Adobe stock. I might sell one, two, three photos there, but they range from anywhere from 33 cents to I think the biggest one was 32 33 dollars um, I mean I just sold a photo on iStock for a hundred dollars and I disabled the port last year or two years ago back in 2019 or 2020 I can't remember when just because they pulled the same BS that Shutterstock Every month for like 
last year and they keep increasing what they pay out to contributors which is the opposite of what Shutterstock and iStock did. Of course as soon as I stop talking and, and recording the wind goes down so basically there's no wind well almost no wind except you can see the flag behind me to my left that's uh, flapping in the wind but anyway um, yeah so I know most people don't I know it's a personal thing and I'm not the most personable guy and I'm not asking for monetary donations I'd rather you know people buy my photography on Adobe Stock, Pond5, my own website or Fine Art America where I upload as well and what you know sales there are minimal at the best but I haven't uploaded anything much in like the last year or so because it was stupid uh, lockdowns and all, the, all this other stupid stuff going on in the last year but you know people are still buying uh, my photography and my videos and I'm kind of hoping to market the videos and market my portfolio on Adobe stock and Pond5 through this channel so that people become aware of it and I'm also learning on the iPad Pro how to use LumaFusion. Uh, Luma Fusion Luma Touch is basically a video editing program um, on the iPad Pro. It's to me very simple to use for you know the basic color correction, stitching videos together to form a longer video. I'm still learning how to use you know the more advanced features of it. It takes time, so basically I'm kind of hoping you know within a year I grasp on how to do you know better transitions and how to get a I don't know what else I can do with the program. So I made it down to the river, another minute walk. I wanted to go to a different place, but somebody took the spot. And I hate doing this in front of people. But, uh, yeah. I'm not away from the van yet. I'm not down by the river anyway. But it's actually, you know, I want to buy a camper van and travel the country. And once the border opens up, I want to go down to the States subscribe uh, like the video share and uh, help me to get to at least I'd say a thousand subscribers I know it's a long shot I only have four but you know it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot so please subscribe and hit that notification bell this is Joe and I'm